Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, today is finally the day that we're going to move Big Bad John back to the shop. So, let's jump right into getting it started. We'll get it on the trailer, and we'll get out of here. Alright, so before we go moving anything with the big trailer, I need to get this electrical hooked up and converted over to a 7-pin style. It's got this old external blade type electrical plug for a trailer, and pretty much it's just going to be taking these wires and wiring it up to the proper one on this connector which will then give me the ability to have a seven pin or the four flat and the heavy trailer right now is a six pin and so i've got two options we're at some point we're going to replace it with this seven pin connector on that cord but for now today we're going to use this adapter and it plugs in to the seven pin and then gives me the six pin and technically also a five pin, a five pin, six pin, or this can also be used for a four pin. So this will be fine for now. It gets us to the point where we can, can legally drive and be able to use the trailer and get the brakes work and everything. So the plan right now is gonna be to finish just connecting these wires, connect them to these wires, and then for now, I'm just gonna kinda basically stick this right here and either zip tie or bolt it on through one of the holes, and we'll deal with a better mount for that later. Um, for now, I just wanna get it so we can use it. There's our ground wire. I'm gonna cut, splice all the wires together with these crimp connectors, and then we'll put shrink tubing over the top of that. All right, got them all connected. I'm gonna heat shrink them. All right, so we're not using the purple, which is backup lights, and the black is auxiliary power. And then this white ground, we're just gonna basically bolt it straight to the section where it was bolted previous. So, got it pretty good. I'm gonna install it here. We're gonna go hook up to the trailer and make sure everything works. Before we do that though, let's make sure this is gonna make a ground connection here. down to bare metal now. Our adapter. See, this is a six pin. All right, 
We got left turn signal, right turn signal. So this machine is not a feather. A little, little there, a little here, a little there. It's, it takes some manhandling. I killed it twice now. Alright, got her all loaded up, chained down, two in the front, two in the back, we are legal. All properly chained, got it well centered on the trailer, there's the rig. Let's get Big Bad John on home, here we go.
Oh yeah, the International did actually really well. I had to crawl up that first hill, but past that, I ran 45 to 55 miles an hour the whole way. So, happy we got it here safe and sound. All right, let's put Big Bad John inside where he deserves to be.
Okay, there it is. Got it in the shop. It's the old number six. Definitely has a beautiful place to sit now. And over here we've got all the teeth for the bucket, which I think we are gonna put back on at some point. I don't know if this went with it, I really don't know. It was just in the same area as all the other yellow cat stuff. But got the grease pump for doing the tracks all the other tools and miscellaneous stuff that we'll go through at some point in that box, got these, these wrenches. One thing I am working on collecting is I wanna get the entire toolkit that came with this machine. And I'm pretty sure I have most of it. Um, there's quite a bit in that box, the small stuff. Some of the other things I actually might have at my shop. I know I've got one of the big long pry bars that would have come with these old cats. Um, trying to get all the wrenches, I've got a couple different uh, Alamite uh, hand grease guns. I want to try and make this machine as com complete as possible because it is just in amazing shape for its age and really it deserves that. So if you have any laying around or you know something I could find some of these pieces let me know. I am all ears. I have seen Squash's video on what comes in a toolkit plus I do have the manuals for this machine now, thanks to a subscriber who sent them to me. So I've got a picture of every single one of the part numbers and all the parts that come with it. So totally stoked to have it back here, got it safe. So just another quick thing, like for instance, any of you that might have seen the rescue of the broke down backhoe, here it is. It is not gone. It runs beautifully. The engine runs great. The only problem is it drives around, moves awesome it leaks its hydraulic fluid out so quickly. Both of those two cylinders need rebuilt. Both the outrigger cylinders need rebuilt. All three boom cylinders need rebuilt. So pretty much the major thing I need to do beyond the cosmetic stuff and fixing all the broken things and making it look good is I need to get the hydraulic system holding. And then there's stuff like that. That pin is completely wilded out. So I gotta pull that, figure out how to rebush that or fix it somehow. Some of these other pins are kind of wallowed out. It's been used, it's been abused. It's got some really crappy repair welding when, you know, for whatever. I mean, I really kind of want to grind that off or torch that off and then re-weld something better there. And then honestly, the front cylinders may need to be built, but they are working. There is just a slight bit of a, a weep on them. And then the engine needs some TLC as far as getting it working. But after that, the old broke down backhoe is gonna be a very useful piece of machinery. So I've got it sitting next to Big Bad John and they are both in line for some maintenance and some attention. So I hope you'll stick around for those videos. They'll be coming soon. But before that, we will be getting the big Alice wheel loader back here to the cave, as well as 
the third piece of machinery from the farm is going to be a series coming up very soon where we'll be trying to get that machine running and if not we'll drag it onto a trailer and we'll bring it back here so i hope you'll stick around for those videos as well all right well another successful trip bringing an old piece of iron back home so this home is actually new to the channel this is now going to be called the salvage cave and that is for reasons i will explain later but if i say the salvage cave it means this building if i say salvage workshop i mean the one where it all started so we got the old cat number six home got it back in the shop here and we're going to do a few things so far so we're going to kind of do the fluids we're going to go through trying to figure out why it's not cooling flush the the cooling system get the radiator all cleaned out hopefully that fixes the cooling problem we're going to pressure wash the whole thing off and start looking at other things like uh, one of the steering clutches might need adjusted or the brake band might be slightly off after that you know there's not a lot more to do on this old beast I do not want to restore it I am NOT painting it the patina this thing it's earned and it's not in bad shape for as old as this machine is so all in all, we've got it inside out of the weather where we can keep it nice and we'll take care of it. But very soon we're going to be getting it out and doing some projects with it. So I hope you stick around for that. Until then, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Please leave me a comment. And as always, thank you for your support because without you, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. So you guys have a great day and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take it easy.